Uh, this is Edward from Hong Kong Excel, and the topic we're going to sh uh, share today is um, discriminant, okay? So that is B squared minus 4AC. So this kind of question can be very, very hard, okay? But uh, all the three basic ideas you need to know is just B squared minus 4AC, okay? If that is bigger than zero, smaller than zero, equal to zero, what do you get? So this one you have to memorize, okay? But very easy to memorize. So bigger than zero, then we'll have two distinct, okay? roots okay so if smaller than zero then it will be no real roots if equal to zero then it will be equal roots okay i'll explain it to you what does it mean so why b squared minus 4ac bigger than zero then we have two distinct root what does it mean by root first so root means x intercept okay so this is the key point number one and the key point number two is discriminant only applies to quadratic equation okay so that is in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c okay so it can only apply to x squared terms okay x squared equation so after you understand this so let's say uh, we know that the um, let's say x squared plus 4x plus 3 right okay so how do you solve this equation by using the uh, root formula so we know that is uh, x is equal to negative b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac over 2a, right? So you can see this is the equation, right? Okay, so if for this one, okay, I want to find out the roots, right? So it will be minus b plus or minus b squared, 4 squared minus 4a, so a is just 1 and then c is uh, 3 over 2a, right? Okay, so then you can solve the answer because it's minus 4 plus or minus square root 4 square 16, and then minus 12, so it's square root 4 and then over 2, yeah? Okay, and then you can solve the rest because square root 4, then you have the answer, right? Okay, but the problem is how is this concept related to b squared minus 4ac? So if the square root thing here, we have a positive number, we have a negative number, we have 0, what do you get? So let's look at here. So if you have positive number, obviously, then you have two answers because th that would be minus b plus something or minus b minus something, right? Then you will have two answers, okay? Right, So which is just like this, it's minus four plus two, minus four minus two, yeah? Okay, but what if that is negative? b squared minus four ac is negative inside, right? Then square root of negative number is always error, right? So let's say square root negative three, then it will be error, yeah? Okay, so this one no solution and finally root zero so root zero then it will be just zero so then you only have minus b over 2a right okay so this three case then that summarize why b squared minus 4ac if that is bigger than zero then you have two roots because when i solve the root then you can see we have two answers right one is plus one is minus yeah so if that is smaller than zero then it will be no solution okay and finally equal to zero then it will be equal roots because the answer we only have one right because that is minus b over 2a that is just one solution yeah okay so this is the answer uh, this is the concept you need to know okay but in the ib exam question obviously it won't ask you for the the concept okay instead they will ask you something like um if uh a square plus uh, bx and then plus four and this is the equation right and i know that this one has equal root okay then you have to find b so I'll find the value of b so how do you do that so basically just like b squared minus 4ac if that's equal root then we have to memorize that is b squared minus 4ac must be equal to zero yeah so b squared minus 4 and then a and then c is 4 equal to zero yeah so b squared minus 16 equals zero b squared equals 16 b is equal to plus or minus 4 okay so you have two answer so b can be equal to 4 or minus 4 yeah okay so that is how you solve the equation but if next time the question asks you to find uh, x squared plus bx plus 4 if this one has no real root no real root so solve, find the possible values of b so how do you do that right okay and also if they ask you oh if there's two distinct root okay distinct means 
different, okay? Different routes. So how do you solve B as well, okay? So if you want a solution, then you can just uh, click the link below and we can register a root uh, trial lesson, okay? So then uh, in the video, I'll explain all the question type for you, okay? So you ace that topic, okay? I, I mean, it's like all the question types for discriminant, okay? With only one lesson, okay? So um, I'll see you next time.